Peter could either get life in prison or the death penalty. He's one of two men who could get the death penalty in our state right now, something experts tell us isn't normal. To have a second one really back to back or really going simultaneously, uh, two cases is, is very surprising. And uh, it's not the, it's, it's unusual as well. Right now, three men sit on death row in our state. In the U.S., the average wait time between sentence and execution is about 20 years because of appeals and reviews. Dexter Lewis is the other man who, if convicted, could get the death penalty. He's accused in the deaths of five people at Pharaoh's Bar. He and two other suspects are accused of robbing the victims, killing them, then setting the bar on fire. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez was in the courtroom today, and Lance's opening statements lasted most of the afternoon. They did, Eric, and attorneys painting different portraits of the defendant. Dexter Lewis being charged with five counts of first-degree murder, five counts of felony murder, as well as robbery and arson. Today, prosecutors said that if it wasn't for a confidential informant, we wouldn't be here today. That informant told police that Dexter Lewis was angry at the Asian woman who owned the bar, Young Pharaoh, because she'd kicked him out before. The defense attorney, though, says the informant was the one who helped plan that robbery and that Lewis was nowhere to be seen when the robbery was planned. The question waiting to be answered, the question that needed to be answered, was who did this? Who did this? At the end of this case, we'll come to you and ask you to hold this man accountable for what he did. Now, the other two defendants involved in that case, Joseph and Lionel Hill, pleaded guilty earlier and have already been sentenced. Joseph received um, a five-year life sentence, five life sentences, his brother Lionel serving 70 years behind bars. The defense attorneys pointed out that the confidential informant who was in the bar when that crime went down did not spend one day behind, in jail. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.